your opinion, and I know you won't get yourself in trouble, and I tell all the drivers, don't get yourself in trouble. What is your opinion on NASCAR today? I'm very happy with where we're at. If you and I had been doing this show 10 years ago, I'd have went, Kenny, we're in trouble. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know where we're at. But I think the leadership, the direction, there's always things. It's like I said earlier about my crew chief career and broadcast career. The constant pursuit of perfection, being better the next time. But I tell you, as far as our leadership right now, with Steve Phelps and, and Ben Kennedy and, and Steve O'Donnell in, in the competition group and this car, I, I, I really like where we're headed. They're thinking outside the box. It's not just rinse and repeat. You know, the guys in the shop used to go, wonder when the new schedule is going to come out. I said, well, just go get the one off the wall from last year and just run it through the cop. <laughs> they may move a few tracks around, but to see what we're doing – it, it's 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 pretty amazing, and and I, it's not the corporate line. I, I, I this is water, not NASCAR Kool Aid. Yeah, I love where we're at right now. I really think we're in a good place. I think a lot of people are like that after watching even Formula One out there in Vegas. So the next thing, your opinion on this new next gen car? Still some work to do, but you know what? I've always said, Kenny. It's not a problem as long as people acknowledge we've got work to do. And NASCAR acknowledges at the short tracks, at the road courses, we've got work to do. But it's the reason they're taking six teams to Phoenix here in a couple of weeks and going to spend two days, and it's, it's an open four. Yeah, they've got an agenda, but they, they're not afraid to adjust that agenda to make the racing better at the short tracks and the road courses. It's not terrible. But we know it could be better. But to me, what it's done for the racing at the intermediates and, of course, the racing at the super speedways, we could take covered wagons and it would be good racing there. Mm -hmm. um, but I <laughs> like the, But you know what? Without this car, without this car, could 2311 and track house racing and college mm -hmm. racing, could they have come in here and in three years be winning races? Yeah. No. You know it and I know it. Could Michael McDowell go win a race? Probably not. Could Ricky Stenhouse Jr. win the Daytona 500? Probably not. The fact, I, I think the numbers speak for themselves when you look at all the different number of winners and the people that's winning these races now that probably wouldn't have happened before this next-gen car. It, it really is amazing how when something starts that is so new, so many people complain <laughs> Just devastating blow, and then years later, we say to ourselves, "Man, what a great move!" And uh, you're you're right about that. So, very last thing, uh, we, we saw record penalties. You know, uh, maybe not the one car, but four hundred thousand dollars to Rick Hendrick. Uh, what is your opinion on the way NASCAR now is governing fines and penalties? Thank the good Lord, I'm a broadcaster now, not a crew chief. I, I'd be eaten out of a trash can, and I'd, <laughs> I'd probably never be at the racetrack. I'd be suspended indefinitely forever. Yeah. Um, I think it's a necessity, Ken, uh, Kenny. You know, the owners told NASCAR, if you're going to put us through the workload and the cost of completely building a brand new car, obsoleted everything they had. I mean, everything, maybe but the racing seat. Save us from ourselves. Don't let us tinker. Let us put these cars together. We still got a big toolbox to work with. There's adjustments aplenty on this car. It's maybe not as big as the, the toolbox was on the old car, but there's still plenty of adjustments. But save us from ourselves. Because you know, Kenny, and I know, if they ever crack that door, and let them start tinkering with something. The cows get out of the barn, and then the next thing you know, they're completely out of the pasture. And it, it's it's carte blanche. And and the spending the money to develop stuff is just going to be off the chart. So I think the only way they can do it is they have to rule with an iron fist, and they have to make these penalties substantial enough that that crew chief, that engineer, or even that owner says, 
don't be going down that road. Do not be doing it. I, I just, I hate to see it for these guys that get suspended and these fines, these penalties, but I think it's an absolute necessity if they want to keep the cows in the barn on this next gen car. 